Good afternoon, my name is Rick Ryan. I'm the pastry chef and owner of Doris and Dixie Bakery here in Austin, Texas. We're at the Lake Austin Spa Resort today doing a cake ball demo on red velvet cake balls. We've got the recipe located on the web so you can follow along. Once you are finished baking the cake, as the details describe, go ahead and let the cakes cool on the counter, and then what you're going to want to do is take the cakes and put them into a bowl. You're just going to crumble up the red velvet cake, so it kind of forms both uh, similar, like here, maybe about walnut sized pieces. I've got one done for you already. What you'll do is just go ahead and let those stand outside at room temperature while you're melting your chocolate. Now the chocolate I use is going to be a white chocolate A peel for these cake balls in particular, mainly because we have the ability to dye them wonderful Easter colors that we'll be doing. You'll take the white chocolate, just put it in the microwave in a ceramic safe bowl and microwave it on high for two minutes. Once that's done, you're going to take the chocolate out of the microwave and with a spoon just stir it until it's a nice smooth consistency. Now if you want to color the white chocolate, I suggest going and finding something from AmeriColor called Oil Candy Color, and they have different flavors available for you, but you want to make sure that it says oil and not water. If you use the water food coloring that you typically find at supermarkets, what will happen is the chocolate will actually seize up and kind of look like cottage cheese, and you don't want that to happen. What we have here is I've done one for you. It's a nice, beautiful yellow color for spring, and we're going to take the cake balls, and we're just going to put them into the chocolate and coat them evenly in the chocolate. So I just take my spoon, and roll the chocolate around the cake ball, and then I'm gonna pull the cake ball out of the bowl, tap off any excess chocolate, and then you wanna put the cake balls on a piece of wax paper. And what this will do is it'll prevent the chocolate from sticking to the uh, pan itself. I normally use a uh, cookie sheet tray when I'm doing these, and just a little bit of wax paper works perfectly. So I've got two that I'm doing right now for you got them dipped in the chocolate. Now, when it comes to decorating, you can use anything that you want. Uh, I usually find, especially for the Easter time, this, uh, these nice, wonderful pastel color, like little uh, candy coatings. I'm going to start with a little pink butterfly. I'm going to put it on the top right there. And then I'm going to use this wonderful blue sanding sugar. And you can get this at any cake supply store. Um, Hobby Lobby, Michaels will also have it. Uh, I go to Make It Sweet Alpha on 183 in Burnett. They have a wonderful supply of all different types of decorations. And I'm just going to take the blue and I'm going to just lightly sprinkle right on top over here. Then we'll uh, do a different decoration. Let's say, uh, let's use this nice orange flower color and we'll put that on the top right there. And then uh, we'll use these wonderful Easter pastel colors and put those on top right there. Now, once you've decorated your cake balls, you're going to want to let them set at room temperature probably about 30 minutes until the chocolate hardens. And you'll be able to take a look and see what that looks like. Uh, if you don't have that time, if you're impatient and just want to eat them right away, I'd suggest putting them in the refrigerator maybe 5 to 10 minutes, which I've done with a couple over here. All right, now that they're out of the refrigerator and they are decorated, I've done quite a few for you. So we've got all these nice ones looking right here. Blues, this nice lavender color. And you now have red velvet cake balls decorated for spring. Thank you guys so much and have a great afternoon.